Edge being a single superstar had the luxury of winning the first ever Money in the Bank briefcase. And the first of something, no one really knows what it is. And no one really knows its value until it's established. So Edge has this briefcase that supposedly guarantees him a championship match. And precedent had never been set. And then we get to New Year's Revolution and the Elimination Chamber, which is a grueling match, which is a match that I managed to make it through and do okay. Here is your winner, John Cena! And then I hear music. You think you knew me? And then I hear that there's going to be another match, and it's going to happen right now. <laughs> and it's with a fresh edge who cashes in the Money in the Bank briefcase to take the championship from me that I just earned. <laughs> Not only did it seem unfair, but it was, it was more than just a loss. It was a loss of a lot of momentum. There's always something at stake. It's either the championship or you're next in line. So you've just gone through this thing put yourself in tremendous physical harm for a yield for this opportunity. And the next stop is WrestleMania. Survive the chamber, cross your fingers for the rumble, I'm going. WrestleMania's gonna be awesome. So that's what I was thinking. As, as a champion, it sucks. But the important thing about that night is it established what money in the bank means. And that's for the greater good. Whoever has the briefcase, it's now established that they're going to be the champ. It's just a matter of time. After an experience like this, there's no other choice. I was not going to let it be that easy for Edge. He'd done well picking his spot, but I'd never let that be the last image the WWE Universe had of John Cena.